What was that? It's called the medium sketch. The medium sketch? Yeah, it wasn't rare and it certainly wasn't well done. <laughs> It is time for me to go to premiere. I actually love when, when, when new things happen. It doesn't matter much if it is within cars or within work or whatever. New is always good for me. And now we are gonna head out to Porsche Center Stockholm, where I am gonna face the new facelifted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will never, never, ever be famous for my humor, but it is true. I'm going to face the facelifted Macan. We have arrived to Porsche Center Stockholm. Oh, yep, there we are. Let's run over. Ha, here we are. Still alive, arrived. Let's walk in and see. Has it been released? Yes, it's standing here and it is green. And we have arrived beautiful and we are about to watch it follow me the facelifted macan colors something that i would like to address they have added this mamba green metallic to the range and who will have the boldness to option out the car with this spectacular, beautiful color? The changes, though, I think we can all agree on are not that radical. The new design language with Porsche with this horizontal design, I will come back to that because it's very important. Everything is pointed horizontally, make, making them lower and, and wider. And the tail lights that are being changed in all models towards the Panamera Cayenne, the introduced 992, is uh, actually something I like. I like that, the, the design language. I wish my GT3 had that. And one thing also that I think this is much better done than compared to the Cayenne is, is it's not a flat surface. You can actually touch and feel the 3D dimension in the rear taillights. We do have some new wheel design in the facelifted Macan. This is the 21 inch wheels with 295-35 in, in, in the rear. And I think these are beautiful. It's um, the RS design of the wheels and I think it matches great. Again, oh, take a look at this color. It shifts between light and dark green. The Mamba Green is close to getting to my favorite color, even though Miami Blue is something that I appreciate. Uh, and that is also a color that are available on the new Macan. Please take a close look. When you have the chance, you see it in flesh. These kind of significant four dots that Porsche have, they have made them more distinguished. And this is an heritage from the 918. So, Pay attention when you see it live. I think on the Speedster on the Paris Motor Show, they were even colored red to, to kind of show off. And then sometimes when you do small, small changes in the design, it kinds of open up all the other lines. In the previous model, you have this round fog lights destroying the front a bit, according to me anyway, where now they have integrated the lights in, in the aerodynamics. I think this is, for me at least, a better design change than the rear lights. Regulations from the government, they are definitely present. You can just pop up the hood at any car manufacturer today and you can actually feel the space around the engine these days. Downsizing is tradition, like Christmas. This two-liter engine actually has seven horsepower less compared to the previous model, but the most important increase in torque. Let's face it, the, let's say, most obvious changes are inside the cabin. 
or should I say the instrument cluster. The design language of Porsche are getting more and more horizontal, less vertical. Remember the taillights, everything comes to horizontal, raising the center console. And by adding this chrome element in the ventilation, extend the feeling of horizontal lines. And then adding this huge horizontal touchscreen, extend it even further. It gets a, a kind of one piece flow from the left to the right side. Personally, I like the analog dials in the car. That's where I'm struggling to get used with all the screens popping up. And speaking of touchscreens, etc., the Macan still has this Spaceships 1000 buttons that I actually like because when I'm driving, I look in front of the road and I can just lay down my hand and find my way forward to the function I'm looking for. If you are lucky and have teenagers that still wants to join you on the vacation, they will have a perfect seating position in the rear seats. And yes, you could say that it could be more spacious, but to be honest, you don't need anything more. I'm 180 centimeters long. I think that's 5 feet 11. And yeah, I could use just a little bit more headroom, especially if, if you are 10 centimeters longer. Um, perhaps I would like to have more support on my legs, but let's be honest, that's just the details. The suspension and chassis is changed and the engine has a new character. If the driving experience is not changed, my recommendation is still valid. In Sweden, there are low mileage 958 Porsche Cayenne. It's time to me to head home. Finally! I have seen the Macan live and yeah, you had my thoughts, the first thoughts, but still I haven't driven it yet and I cannot wait until I get the chance to properly test drive it. Until then, see you later.